Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksweb.com. I received a message from Killer Marcy that says, Hey Duncan, I've just seen your video on how to turn your USB stick into a portable flash drive. I don't think I remember making that one, how to turn something into itself. <laughs> anyway, I found it kind of interesting, so I decided to get some nice programs on my USB stick, which I may need in college. Now I'd also like to have a portable Firefox. I know there is one, but I may, but I basically want to have my Firefox, like with all my add-ons, bookmarks, etc, to be portable on my USB stick. Is that possible to make a portable Firefox with add-ons? Thanks for all the video reviews, they're really awesome. Greetings, Kinamasi. <sighs> okay, thank you for your question, Kinamasi. You're a little bit like me. You like to customise your Firefox, trick it out, have loads of bookmarks, add-ons, and make it personal to you. But when you go to get a portable version of Firefox, you'll find that it's just a blank install when you go to put it on your drive. So how can you port all this stuff across? Well, firstly, you're going to need, obviously, Firefox Portable. Now, this is going to be treated as a work or a school machine. It hasn't got Firefox on it. It's just got Google Chrome. This shared folder has got Firefox Portable installed onto it. So this is actually inside the virtual machine as Drive Z. So here we go, Firefox Portable, and I'm gonna run it. You'll need to run it for this. So run it for the first time. As you can see, it's nice and blank. Everything is blank, nice. So now you need to make sure you can get to the profile of your Firefox. So you need to go to computer on your system, type in percent app data. This is usually where settings are stored on your computer for your programs. Go to Mozilla, then go to Firefox, then go to Profiles, and then copy this folder. Just copy it. Now you're gonna to have to put this on your USB stick or whichever, I'm just gonna put it in my shared thing here, gonna paste it, and it's just gonna copy it, it's 12 meg, so I've got quite a lot of things going on in there. And it's going to give me an error, that's fine, skip it. That's cool, right. So if I just go up one level, you can now see my little profile thing is here. I'm actually gonna call that profile. So F2, then call it profile. So now we need to overwrite the profile of the Firefox in the portable version. So what I'm gonna do is copy this. I'm gonna go into Firefox Portable. I'm going to go to data. Um, as you can see, we've got a profile thing. All I'm gonna do is paste this to all, and it's gonna overwrite everything. And hopefully, when it's done, we should have a fully customized Firefox. So let's go back, run Firefox Portable, cross your fingers. Hopefully, ah, please don't crash. Excellent, you can see it's all tricked out, fully customized, just as it was on my system. All my add-ons are still there, all my bookmarks are still there, everything is there, it's perfect. Now if you have any errors with this, it may be because of inconsistencies with the versions, so make sure you make you have your Firefox on your host system um, the same as the portable version on your little USB drive, because if they get out of date, you're gonna have incompatibilities with the extensions. So that's about it, really. That's how to turn your Firefox portable. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.